Welcome to Channel Eight Resolves. I'm Country Fry. We play different deck lists every video, and today, my version, mono black, best of three. Let's take a look. All right, guys. So just to go ahead and hop into this because it's best of three in the gameplay. You get one game, all three matches. Uh, went really well though, but we got some new cards that we added from All Will Be One, and that's kind of what we wanted to showcase. You get some of them, but uh, they didn't really pop off. But it still shows that Mono Black's in control. It is just in a really, really good spot. So with our removal, we've got one cut down, two go for the throats, one infernal grasp. One Gix's Command, one March of Wretched Sorrow. You can also count Invoke Despair in there with the removal spell if you want to, but I usually count it as card draw. However, Invoke Despair is in there. For our creature package, we've got three Evolved Sleepers, three Tenacious Underdogs, three Graveyard Trespassers, four Shieldred Apocalypse, two Phyrexian Obliterators, and three Flesh Gorgers. Now, the reason we go three Flesh Gorgers, three uh, Graveyard Trespassers, and three Tenacious Underdogs are just to help us crew up our Bank Buster if we can get in the early damage for cheap. Uh, but other than that, I mean, Shieldred will crew it up, Phyrexian Obliterator will crew it up, and you can even evolve Evolve Sleeper. Uh, to a point where it can crew up the bank buster as well. Our card draw, though, is off the bank buster as well as Phyrexian Arena. And then we've got two of of Liliana the Bell. And then our land package. I mean, you could stack this however you want it. You may want to go to one Takanumas and not use the uh, Myrex at all or the uh, Mishra's Foundry. But I put the Myrex and the Mishra's Foundry in here just as backup and two of uh, the Takanumas in here just to help us recover some stuff from the graveyard if we absolutely needed to. But we're setting on 25 lands. All in all, it's not a bad package. What we're really trying to do is get Shieldred down and Phyrexian Arena at the same time. So that way, when we lose a life off of drawing a card from Phyrexian Arena, we actually gain two life from Shieldred, the Apocalypse, being on the uh, battlefield. But uh, all in all, still a pretty stable package, guys. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Uh, I'll let you get to the gameplay, and I'll see you real quick at the outro where we'll discuss the sideboard. Until then, stay safe, be happy and healthy. Much love. Peace. All right, we play first, best of three, new mono black. All right. Um, sure, why not? Playing Esper. Playing Esper Legends. They're holding counters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let it go. All right. <laughs> Passing the turn. Definitely holding the make disappear. Hmm. Disappear. Hmm. Interesting. So, what is coming down here? Who knows? Maybe they got a fading hope or a removal spell. A little late on that one, but okay. It would definitely need them to uh, start using up whatever they got. Sure. <laughs> they got it. They are non stop control. <laughs> All right, let's go, man. Let's go. Oh my god, we're gonna get hit with a farewell. This is gonna suck. Uh, let's see if we get it down. See if they know how it works. All 
Man, I really want to get Phyrexian Arena in there. They probably got Emperor. I would imagine it's Emperor. What in the hell is this mess, bro? Just play, man. Okay. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So they do kind of know how it works. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy down. They might have a make disappear, but that would be all they have at this point. And that's fine. If they get the evolved sleeper, it's fine. One card left, buddy. One card to rule them all. Oh my god. Be farewell. Silver scrutiny. Good lord, man. Well, they refilled the hell out of their hand. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's refill ours while we can. All good. Now let's see if we can get the little mini combo shield and Phyrexian Arena down at the same time. I don't know. They did get a lot of cards. So I wonder if they're just running for a hall breaker. Yeah, there she is. I'm not overconfident. You're just underwhelming. You're done. Hmm. Okay. I'm curious as to what they've got there. You would definitely want to stop this. See if we can bait them into doing anything here. They've got three cards. They gotta have some type of answer going on. Flash. Mm. Ottawa is nice. I'm just hoping they don't have another silver scrutiny, man. What a pain in the ass. I am almost set. Well, actually, I don't care now. We got Shieldred on the uptick. All right, Dan. GG's, man. Go to game two. All right, there was a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff. We kind of want to keep them off of Silver Scrutiny, so the Lilianas are good. Or the Liliana. Man, we probably should have put more in the sideboard. Um, 
the rest. Hmm. Take out cut down. Man, I didn't see any creatures, but that worries me. Um, I don't want to keep the bank buster, but at the same time. I think we need Gix's command. Man, this really bothers me. I don't know. If they have any creatures, I just don't know. All right, we'll give this a shot. We'll see what, we show, what shows up in uh, game two here. Yeah, we'll definitely keep it. It's a good rollout. Just waiting on Dan. Dan, my man, what you got? You got duress? Yep, you might wanna take my duress. <laughs> nice. Well, that's good in case we get a planeswalker. I just hope they don't get a bank buster down. I'm hoping they don't run bank buster at all. See if they run essence. They do, but you don't have any in hand. That's good. Might have a three card counter though. Let's definitely do that. Probably dumb because if he's got an emperor, he can just exile it. Actually, you can put a samurai on it. Definitely need to hit another and well never mind. They got the invoke, so that's fine. They're down though, man. They're so far down. Uh see if this is what they're wanting. Oh, didn't have that either. Damn. Now I wish I would have got Gix out. Hopefully they don't have to depopulate. <laughs> said hopefully apparently uh, may I have to just go this way for the killing there we go that's a good one nice of course if they get void rend does nothing for us. Oh, never mind. Recycling the hell out of this. There we go. Definitely get this done. Might have the void run now. Hmm. 
Okay. Um... Bills fishy. Feels like an emperor. Those things can't block. Oh, they must have got another Emperor. Nice. Or a board wipe. Gotta be another emperor, right? I've learned much during my travels. Let me show you. You're done. Man, they really did pull into all their emperors. What is that? Number three? That's one. And then two. Oh, well. They had Jace and Emperor. Uh... Another Emperor? Jesus, man. Are you kidding me with this? Oh, see the ganja. Okay. Should have guessed. Mm okay. Next. All the right cards at all the right times. Um maybe put Undying in there. Don't think we really need these. I think we need to be just pushing out as much as possible. Gix is good. Um, March isn't horrible. Take out one downfall. All right, let's go. 
No way you pull 24 emperors in your opening hand. Not again. We shall see. We shall see. Ah, uh, we'll keep. Now on this next turn, if they can't get rid of the underdog, what we'll do is leave Undying Malice open. Mm. I kind of really rather him just discard a card. Probably should have left Undying Malice open. I'm a little too uh, impatient with that. See if they void rend. They may have depopulate. If so, we'll definitely want to use uh, Undying Malice on their turn when they do the depopulate on Graveyard. Something sticky. It's just going to be a flat blowout. Yeah. All right. GG's. GG's, Usper. What the hell kind of control you were? But GG's, buddy. Tier one gold. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the excitement. Gold. All right, guys. There you go. See you in the outro. All right, guys. There you go. There was gameplay. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I did change up the sideboard a little bit after that match, uh, just for some things that I particularly wanted, and probably that match in particular kind of uh, reflected in the changes I did, and I probably shouldn't have, but it still stays pretty much the same for a best of three mono black deck list for the most part. We have four duress, two undying malice. Uh, I put in here just in case if they're running creature removal heavy. Uh, we have Unlicensed Hearst in here to help us against Ra Graveyard Recursion. I did put two Pilfer in here uh, just to help us remove some stuff from our opponent's hand if we absolutely need it, and that kind of works well with the rest as well. Uh, Gix is in here to help us get card draw. If they're not heavy on the creatures, and we can get through a lot of damage and would we'll definitely throw Gix in there and probably take out a Liliana. And then we've got uh, Malicious Malfunction that can help us with a lot of the tokens. And then I did remove, um, I want to say, Hero's Downfall and stacked the soul transfers in here as well as the pilfers uh the reason i went with soul transfers because we do honestly have a chance of hitting the artifact and the enchantment at the same time uh with the flesh gorgers the bank busters and the phyrexian arenas now so soul transfer is actually a really good removal in this package and may end up being main boarded later on down the road but i'm trying different things that we got with all will be one and uh, as I figure it out, I'll probably tune this deck up. But it worked really well. Uh, we cut right through. Uh, we did go all three games, but um, 
as you saw in that second game, the opponent just kept hitting everything perfectly. But the first game and the third game, third game we just trounced because we just pushed through damage. Uh, first game we kind of got to see some of the interactions going on there. But all in all, Mono Black still in a really good spot. Phyrexian Obliterator is a good uh, adjustment to it. And addition, even though it's, a, you know, just a revisit of the card. Uh, however, you know, um, destroying it, with infernal grasp and go for the throats you guys got to remember that doesn't do damage the five damage to it um you still need kind of a fight spell in there so for and obliterator just kind of goes in as a blocker in hopes that they'll attack into it but more often than not it's getting destroyed or exiled so i don't know that i really enjoy that card in there uh we could probably stabilize out more by removing the two obliterators i just kind of wanted to showcase some more all will be one cards um but if we took out the two obliterators I would probably go back to a third bank buster and probably the fourth graveyard trespasser. Uh, graveyard trespasser is a nuisance, especially to anybody doing reanimator with the discard effect of the ward cost on both sides as well. If you get it down, um, it's just a lot of damage really quick. Uh, the three can crew up the bank buster to send it through as a four, four, the four, four can, uh, just start, exile cards from your opponent's graveyard left and right and still getting in damage so it is a nuisance to deal with plus like i said the ward cost of getting rid of this card unless you've got a sweeper is to target it and they have to discard cards and, and taking your opponent off of cards is always a good thing especially when we're drawing out crazy with uh shieldron and phyrexian arena i would love to try and figure out a way to fit a fourth one in here and that may just be drop one liliana and put in a fourth one uh i don't think i would drop any more evolved sleepers i didn't really enjoy dropping it to three because i want to try and hit that one uh one drop creature uh but we do have tenacious underdog right on the backup we do have graveyard trespasser we've got the shielder we've got the flesh gorger and we have a ton of interaction guys i'm really enjoying mono black there it is that's my list that's what i run in best of three uh if i am going to run mono black and it has been a lot of fun it just got a lot stronger though uh phyrexian arena is the real deal i think it's going to be a staple so with that guys i hope you enjoyed the gameplay i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you would leave that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already we'd love to have you on board and until next time stay safe be happy and healthy much love peace <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one